Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you all of the fish and coral inside of our tank. And also, sorry if we get anything wrong, because we are... Get over here! Because we're beginners, and if, if you know what it is, please comment down below so we know what it is. First are the zoanthids. They're really cool and easy to take care of. They are just very, very cool. Let me get the light. Let me do this, then that. Then just look at them glow for a second. All right. Next is the flower pot. Ba da da da. Flower pot. Right there, he's completely closed right now because he thinks it was nighttime when we had the light off. So sorry about that. We we will show him in a future video. So they're pretty cool. All of those little holes are flowers and they are really cool and stunning when you really get to see them. So, no, wait, no, I'm gonna show you grapes. Look at him. He looks so dumb, he's so cute. God bless me. All right, so now let's move on to the next hole. All right, guys, so next up is my yellow sea cucumber. He is a very cool and they eat, they just eat off of the things that come out through the filter. And I named him Banana, because he looks like a banana. So they are a sea cucumber and they're really cool for beginners. And they don't get that big. So now let's move on to the next sea creature I have in this tank. All right guys, next up is the clown goby. They are really, really cool little fish. Um. They only get about two, three inches. They don't get that big. He will probably stay about that big. They hide up in your rocks. And when they feel more comfortable, they'll start coming out. They are really, really, really cute little things. And we named ours Grapes. So that's a perfect beginning fish for you guys. I would totally recommend you guys getting that. And now let's move on to the next guy. All right, guys, this is a Watchman Gobi. We have a video of him already, but if my dad knew knew how to share a link, um, it would be up there, but we don't, so you guys can go back and watch that video. Now, to the next fish. All right, guys, next up is a Favia. They're a pretty cool coral, but they will sting your other coral. They will um, have their little white tentacles out and start stinging them, and they will, ha they will like, shoot out some mucus, white mucus sort stuff that are poisonous to any other fish. So make sure to keep them at least six inches away from any other coral. Now let's move on to the next coral. All right, next is the cocoa worm. They are pretty cool. They do get pretty big. Um, there is a, fun fact, there's a little worm inside. That is the worm right there. You can see on that side right there, that's the little worm, but they will shed their crown. The next one we're gonna show you is actually processing their shedding. They will get pretty big. As you can see right there, following the line, we'll, we will move on to that coral, but geez, they get pretty big. But they're really cool and very, very pretty. And they will they will go into their shells, like, see like, right there, they'll go into their shells for protection. Now let's move on to the next creature. All right, guys, this is a Hawaiian feather duster, different than the cocoa worm, which we showed you. They don't get too big, and this one is actually in the process of shedding. He will be just as vibrant, just as pretty as the cocoa worm that we just showed you, but they will stay about that size. But they're really pretty. No, that's not an alien. It's called a Hawaiian feather duster. They're really cool, and he's in the process of shedding right now. Just look at the middle of him. It's creepy. Reminds me of the Aliens vs. Predators movie. <laughs> so now let's move on to the next sea creature. Now that, yeah, that's how the other one will go. 
So might as well move on. That's another Hawaiian feather duster, but it's just a different kind. And that's exactly what the other one that is in shedding will look like. So now since we got two in the way, out of the way, let's move on to the next sea creatures. And there's that little um, sea cucumber. He's a filter feeder and they feed off of the filter. Now, all right guys, now this is a mushroom coral. I forgot what it's called, but they're really cool. And they will make heads. So what they'll do is they're, they'll begin at one head and then they'll make new ones. And soon they'll have like 20 heads. So they're pretty cool coral. As you can see, ours has really cool spikes on them. So if you know what it is, he is, comment down below so you so I know what he is. But I know he's some sort of mushroom coral. Now let's move on to the next coral. All right, guys, next is the aching coral. We don't really know a lot about them, but they will grow um, as big as you want as much as you feed them. So feed them every day, they'll grow pretty big. And then they come in a whole bunch of different varieties. Ours is like green and bluish. And then when he closes up, he's red. So that's a pretty cool coral, but we don't really know a lot about them, but they will grow pretty big and they could outgrow the tank. But we're not gonna feed them that much, so he'll probably get a couple of inches bigger. Now let's move on to the next coral. All right guys, for the next coral are GSPs. They are really, really, really cool kind of grass. Make sure not to put them on any rocks. If you want them on rocks, you can, but it's almost impossible to scrape them off. So we use coral safe glue to um, glue them on the back of the wall. And in a, like maybe about one year, the whole wall will be full of GSP coral. They're really cool and pretty vibrant too. And they're, for GSP, it stands for green star polyps. So now let's move on to the next sea creatures. All right guys, so the next coral are toadstools. They get pretty big, but they will not outgrow this tank. The things that you see on him right now are his little um, antenna sort things, polyps, and they, he's, ours is leaning up a little bit, but that's all right, because he put himself there. Um, they can't move, but they can move themselves like right, not like move, like a sea anemone can. So they're pretty cool. Um, they will fit in a 70, no, a 28 gallon, but like any smaller, they'll probably outgrow. So now let's move on to the next coral or fish. All right, guys, next is the purple firefish. They are really, really great for beginners. And there are different species. There's a pretty rare one. I forgot the name. We have a purple one and the least expensive are normal ones. They're almost look the same but except with that purple and red on the tail and they don't get much bigger than that and they do weird things with the sand like they throw their bodies on the sand and go back up it's weird and we named him purple because my mom loves the color purple and he's a purple fish so they're perfect for beginners i so recommend you guys getting that let's move on to the next fish, fish. Yeah. all right guys next up is the blue spotted jawfish they will get about six inches and they, wait, watch. Yeah, they take, they build their burrow like that. They take sand, put them in their mouths, and then they spit it out. And then he used to be in the other rock, but he switched to this rock. They are such a character. They go up and eat, and then they swim back down from backwards. They're a character. I recommend you guys getting it. But they do grow six inches, so make sure you have a big enough tank for that. And if you do, I so recommend you guys getting this. He's a character. Now let's move on to the next fish. Wait, what? Yeah, move on to the next fish. All right, guys. All right, guys. Next up is the Devil's Hand Toadstool. We named him COVID because like he looks like those little spores on the COVID. But they don't get too big, and they look really cool, but they love high flow. So that's why we put them right next to the filter. And they're just amazing. They're so cool. And they can change, <coughs> excuse me, they can change their form to however they want. Devil's Hand Toadstool. They're pretty cool. 
Now let's move on to the next fish. All right, guys, next up are the pajama cardinals. They um, are almost the same as um, bang guys, but they just have a different color scheme, and they're really easy to take care of. They don't get too big, maybe about five inches, maybe. We have two of them. They're both named Caper because of the colors on the tails. They really do look like capers. Um, we have two of them. Like I said, really easy to take care of. I recommend you guys buying them. And they're not that expensive, too. And they really do look like they have their pajamas on. <laughs> now let's move on to the next fish. Oh. All right, guys. Next up are my clownfish. We have two. One is a fancy clownfish. The other one is a midnight clownfish. They don't get too big. They're really cool, and we named them Nemo and Cole. You can probably guess who's who is who. They're just the most beautiful fish. They have um, great character. Patterns are amazing. Eat like crazy. They're chunky. They are just so cool. And I recommend you guys buying these for your nano tank. Next, let's not next. Let's move on to the next fish. All right, guys, next is the trumpet coral. We don't know a lot about those either, but the, all I know about them is they're my, my mom's favorite and they grow new heads. We think they split maybe, but they're really cool. Vibrant green look way better in blue light, but the blue light doesn't really look good on camera. And they are just really cool. They grow into a big ball of, um, just a big ball of greenness. So they are trumpet coral, also known as the candy cane coral. Now let's move on to the next coral or fish. Cool. All right, guys, next is the coral beauty. They're appropriately named because they hang around the coral a lot. We might not be able to get good shots because he's always hiding behind the rocks. This is the best we've got. They don't get too big. There's a 50-50% chance they'll bite on your coral, and they get about six, five inches. So pretty good sized. Oh, you hear that? That was the shrimp doing his little snappy snap, 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 snaps. So that's the Coral Beauty, 50% chance of eating your coral, and we named ours Phoenix. So now let's move on to the next coral, because we don't have any more fish for you guys. All right, guys, next up is the Elegance Coral. They're pretty cool. Let me change it to the blue light once again. You can see that green side of him. That is his normal body. He is, like usual, he's closed right now. But still, he will be out moving around. He's kind of moving around right now. But he is so cool. He's opening up as we speak. So you can see his little middle. That's his head and his butt. Mm -hmm. I want to I wanna do the same thing, too. So next is the Lepastria, which is that big boy right up there. He is so, so cool. That's my second favorite coral that's in here. Now let's go to the blue light. Off blue light. And all those little white things, all those little yellow things are responding. Sorry about my brother's he's playing Fortnite. And it is an encrusting coral. I'm pretty sure. And again, sorry about my brother who's playing Fortnite with his friends. And also, I want to show you the new clownfish we got. Um, he is a fancy clownfish. Um, R.I.P. the other one. So, just a little quick reminder, we got him. And then, yeah, that's all the corals, everything we got. Oh, look at Banana. We finally named him Banana. He's out right now. Alrighty. Next video will probably be a video of us going outside or a video with my girlfriend. So, just ahead of time, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming video. Out of nowhere, see ya.